Woo! What's up, guys? Cave Explorer Rob here, back to you with yet another cave. Um, this is my 100th episode of me exploring caves, and uh, for that, I want you guys to make sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and give this video a big old thumbs up, so I can. Uh, it, it helps me keep exploring my caves, keep exploring my passions. Um, so we got a very special cave today. This is an ominous cave in the middle of the desert. Oh, there's a little bit of. Oh, it's so dry out in the desert, and then there's like mist. There's mist coming out of it. I don't know where exactly this mist is coming from. That makes me think there's an underground water source. This is a very peculiar cave. We're gonna explore it right now. Okay, so by the looks of it, all this trash, it looks like there has in fact been humans here before. Um, it's very unfortunate when humans do this. I hate it when uh, human beings do this, but there does seem to be a whole nother part of the cave over here. We're gonna go ahead and explore this cave some more. Okay, oh, it goes pretty deep. Oh my. Oh, it, looks, it seems to be that there is an ominous red glow ahead of us. The fog is getting significantly thicker. There seems to be an, a scary aura surrounding me. There's so much fog. Uh, it seems that I found a cute little creature. Look at him. Oh, I think he, he's just hanging out. How adorable. Oh, look at him. Oh, 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 oh my God. sleep in my closet again. Guys, I just had the craziest dream. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. Ugh, what day is it? <laughs> Guys, it's Halloween! It's officially the last day of Craftoween! <laughs> I gotta make this video good. And since I was sleeping for about, uh, four days, I really don't have a lot planned for Halloween, but I do have these cheap Halloween masks I can paint. So I guess we'll do that. Let's do this. Okay, guys, I'd like to start off with this freaky foam clown. You know, this is cool and all, but I feel like we need to make it look like Ronald McDonald. So, uh, you know, first things first. Oh, don't need that anymore. Then I'm gonna take off the hair if I can. All right, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. It's stitched on. It's okay. All you gotta do is grab an X-Acto knife, and we're just gonna take it very slowly. Just go behind his ear and whisper some sweet nothing. <laughs> And then we're just gonna go right into it. Now that our happy clown man is nice and relaxed, do a little bit of surgery, giving him a haircut. Oh, you know what? I could also make this look like the Joker too. This would make one hell of a Joker. I've already done the Joker, so I don't need to do the Joker. But you know what? I like the wig. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is do what I always do, and that's start from square one. We're gonna paint this guy completely white and just completely start over. So it looks like Ronald's face is really not that much different. I mean, this one looks a lot scarier, but I feel like I can do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with some red. And I'm just gonna start off by doing all around his mouth. Not bad, now we're gonna do his red nose. Ronald the red nose clown had a very funny job. He had to sell some hamburgers, otherwise he'd let people down. I'm gonna go in and paint the black outline around his lips, and then he actually has some eyeliner. So we're gonna go in and uh, give him that. <gasps> I messed up twice, I messed up here and here, dang it. I'm gonna have to go in and 
touch that up. And then he has some like triangle guys going down. See if I can do this without butchering it. He also has some eyebrows, some very happy looking eyebrows. He has them really high up there. So I'll just kind of do them right here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to go in and touch a lot of stuff up. I got some spots. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna do the eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I touched it up, and in my opinion, I think it looks a lot better. I put this red light behind it for a dramatic effect, but one small oversight, I forgot to fill in the teeth. It's just one giant white mass, and teeth aren't like that, so I need to go and fill these back in. Okay, guys, and his face is now complete. Now we simply have to glue his hair back on. They stitched it on, but, uh, you know, we're not that fancy, okay? Oh, uh, yes, Ronald McDonald. Where a kid can be a kid. Wait, that's Chuck E. Cheese, my bad. Let's just glue this right on. Very carefully. I want to get burned by this hot glue. Like I do. Ah! Mm, like I do. Ah! I always get burned by the hot glue. When am I going to learn my lesson? It's not a Bobby video unless he burns himself with a hot glue gun. That's what I'm told, at least. By people that I've told that to. And we're done! I think that this turned out pretty fantastic. Oh yes, a very creepy Ronald McDonald mask. Do you guys think it looks like him? This is my version. This is Ronald the boy himself. The man. The clown. Now it's time to try this bad boy on. What do you guys think? Am I a creepy clown boy? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I lost my cool. Yeah, guys, this is how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty fantastic. Anyway, let's go on to the next mask, shall we? Okay, guys, I'm actually pretty excited for this one because growing up, uh, this was one of my favorite things. We're gonna be painting a dinosaur head from Jurassic Park. And even better, mouth opens. Does it really get any better? First things first. Like always, we're gonna give it a nice, fresh coat of white. This dinosaur has something that a lot of people want, and that is a clean slate. There we go. Okay, now that we have our dry bones. It could also be Charizard. I did think about making it into Charizard. If you guys want me to make a Pokemon themed mask video, probably be after Halloween. Just let me know down in the comments down below. I think that might be a fun thing to do. But for now, we're making this guy into Barney. A very scary looking Barney. And Barney has some very, very white teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and get this silly putty. I'm gonna use this little castle nut to help it stay open. Yes, yeah, there we go. That's a lot better than this sunglass case. I'm gonna need to wrap every individual tooth. That's uh, one down. Teeth are all done. Now it's time. Oh, no. Now it's time. Oh my gosh. This thing is not meant to stand up. Now it's time to paint this guy purple. Time to remove some of this silly putty. It's looking like it actually worked. Look how clean that came out. Oh, yes. Look how white these teeth are. Oh, yes, that looks very good. Very nice teeth, if I say so myself. And there we have it. We have ourselves a perfectly good Barney the Dinosaur Mask. He's a lot more scary than normal, but you know what? That's fine. Well, let's try this bad boy on. Oh yes, a dinosaur if I ever saw one. I'm starting to regret my decision. I should have made Yoshi instead. But you know, <laughs> why'd I do Barney? I don't even know. Anyway, we're gonna try this bad boy on. There's also a strap that when I mouth open my mouth, it opens as well. Hey guys, I'm Barney. Barney, <laughs> Barney the dinosaur, that's me. <laughs> It looks like I made a perfectly good Barney mask. So I'm gonna say that this one works. Okay guys, so this last one isn't really a mask. It's actually a crown. It's a very cheap crown that I got from Spirit Halloween. I have been wanting to decorate myself a crown because you know what? I'm the freaking craft king, okay? And I don't have a crown. So we're gonna fix that right now. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out this pattern, you know? I'm not a soft boy. I don't need a soft surface touching my head. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna be painting it, so in order to make the paint stick, I'm gonna have to sand it down a bit. I'm using very fine sandpaper. I used lower grit sandpaper uh, in one of the last masks, and I completely scratched it up. And I regret using such a heavy grit. So I'm just using, I think this 1, is... 1,500? That might be a little bit too high. Um, but you know, we're just trying to scuff up the paint a little bit, just so that like, 
when I actually go to paint this guy, the paint sticks, you know? Now that this is nice and scratched up, I'm gonna take off these uh, jewels. There we go. Now we're gonna get to painting. A booby boop. -boop. Okay guys, so I ran out of spray paint and uh, there's definitely still some places that could be painted. So, you guessed it, break out my airbrush. Okay guys, now I wanna go in and paint these little squiggly guys blue. Oh yes, one down, a bunch more to go. You know what, I'm actually gonna go in and completely fill these in. Oh yes, beautiful, infinity signs. I am forever the king. The Craft King. Now I want to go in and add something to these little guys. I think I'm going to add some nuts. Fun fact guys, these are called castle nuts. So the castle is going to be on top of my crown. But before I do that, I kind of want to paint them gold. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay guys, I went ahead and put all of them on, and it turns out I'm missing one! Uh, so, I guess, I'll just take the one on the, off the back. Um, who's gonna know? I'm sure I'll find that random castle nut around here somewhere, but for now, this is looking pretty good. Then, I wanna go in and fill this in with silver, I think. All these little, uh, these little guys. Look how much more fancy that looks. It's gonna take a while though, because I have to painstakingly paint each individual one. Yeah, I'm really feeling the silver. I think it really pulls the crown together. So I'm also going to do this part silver as well. And all these little guys. Okay, guys. And the very last thing that I'm going to do to this crown, I'm going to put on a bunch of googly eyes right on these guys. It's mostly because not just am I the craft king, I'm, I'm also an omnipotent king. And uh, I see everything. And that's why I'm going to have googly eyes just completely surrounding my crown. To show my omnipotence, of course. And there we go. I now have... Complete omnipotence. I can see everything, everywhere, every craft that there ever was. I've seen it all, but I think I did a fantastic job. Now it's time to try it on. Oh yes, every king needs a crown. The craft king is here. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a crown deserving of the craft king? I can see everything with my omnipotence. Anyway guys, oh, I stepped on my Barney mask. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, consider me the craft king. Fantastic job, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, guys, it looks like all those crafts that I did were a dream. Oh, oh, I, get, oh I have to lay down. And also make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. Find it right down there. If you guys want to watch me do even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have an entire playlist of me doing that right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always click the mystery card. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're not even... Okay, bye! Oh.